Number seven, the pushy PO. Last time you took 25 points, now it's only 17. How come? First of all, let's get back to the manual, the Scrum Guide. The number of items selected from a product backlog for the sprint is solely up to the development team. So the idea is that the product owner makes a suggestion. I believe that's at least my way. I like to do this ideally by defining a sprint goal and then the team picks the stories to make the sprint goal happen. If that is a feasible task, you know, given capacity, et cetera, PP. However, there are always people who like to push the team, who believe that it's their role to push the team in the right direction, who push the team to take on more stories they can actually deliver, who push the team to accept stories, the scope of which is actually too large. And you always have to ask yourself, okay, how come does this utilization fetish of the product owner comes to the forefront. Why is that so? Is this sign of distrust? Is that person not a team player? Is it just a classical manager from the factory area? So output is all that matters. Is it probably a misaligned incentive between the product owner and the team? Is the product owner, for example, polishing his or her CV for the next career step and just needs to score more points with the management? There are a lot of issues why this might be. Probably the product owner is just a competitive person. Nevertheless, this should be something that the Scrum Master is addressing. And you should talk about that in a retrospective because it creates a lot of tension in the team and it's really, really undermining the trust that the team needs to be successful. So please, no pushy peels.